Hey everybody, Christy Glass here with a top 10 knitting video for you today. Today I am sharing my top 10 knitted sweaters. I have been a lifestyle knitter for going on seven years now. I knit every day. I average about 85 finished objects a year, and it was very hard for me to narrow it down to these top 10, but I'm here to share them with you today. I will be taking you through my top 10 favorite sweaters, and I have a finished object video on each one, which I will link to underneath this video. I also wanted to direct you to my Patreon account, patreon.com slash christyglassknits, where I release multiple videos every week, including a live whip Wednesday, every single Wednesday, and I would love to see you over there in our fabulous fiber community, patreon.com slash christyglassknits. Let's get to the top 10 sweater patterns. I am going to count down from 10 to one. Is that down? Yeah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Starting with number 10, we have Fox Thoughts by Hiroko Payne. This is a gorgeous sweater and it is such a journey. This is using lace weight yarn two held together at all times, switching out on different rows. It is a total concentration. What I love about this project are the colors. They're put together by La Bien Aime, and this is their yarn. I purchased this kit on their website. It is a pattern published in Pom Pom Magazine, and all of the information will be underneath this video. I loved it so much. It was a beautiful experience, and I also love wearing it. Number nine is the Betty and Judy Lodge sweater by Poison Girls. And what I love about this sweater is I didn't know knitting could look like this. I love the fit, the puff sleeve, the vintage detail, and what's special about this sweater for me is that I got this yarn in Paris on a trip with my daughter, and it was really wonderful to have that memory as I was knitting through it, and then to remember it every holiday season. I also love the button detail on the back of this sweater. I think it makes it really special and the fit very specific. Number eight is the Gibson Ruffle Blouse by Fable Knitwear. This is another example of a sweater that I made myself that I didn't know was possible. I love the shaping that happens here at the top. It was really revolutionary for me. I used Wandering Flock yarn in the body and Mimo Yarn Co. in this beautiful ruffle. And it also has a button, so it makes it a very fine fit on the body, unlike what I think of when I think of sweaters. So I think it's aptly named blouse and it's by Fable Knitwear. Number seven is the Frida by Gregorio Fibers. This is the sexiest sweater ever. The fit of this sweater loves the female body and as someone who is not well endowed in the chest, I feel very seen and very sexy in this sweater. I used Drops Alpaca as my base and it is an unconventional color for me, but I really enjoyed knitting this. I knit it at a time of transition in my life and I felt really empowered wearing it when I was done. Number six is La Gecca by La Maison Rilili and this is such an adventure. It has so many cool techniques in it from this checkerboard situation happening in the body to the short row increases that take this stripe from thin to thick on the back. This really cool detail at the neckline with the sleeve that makes these triangular shapes. I also loved the Madeline Tosh yarn that I put together for the colors of this particular sweater. Highly recommend this sweater adventure. Number five is Bokeh by Junko Okamoto. She is such a master at design, and this was such a party. I used Manasel Uruguay yarn. I love purple and pink, they're my favorite colors. And the visible floats on the surface of this sweater are everything. I'm a huge fan of florals, and I love that the bottom half of this sweater is different in the front than in the back. And I love the surprise chicken in the motif. Number 
four is Chunky Rainbow Pullover number 15 by Miranda Herms or Meeps, M-Y-P-Z. This is another example of a sweater that I love the color combo, which was put together by the designer and the dyer. I also love this as an introduction to intarsia. If you want to try intarsia, this is the sweater for you. It's so much fun to knit and really, really great to wear. Number three is Studio Pullover by Cerulea Rose. And for me, this sweater is everything because of the colors that I put together. This is from Marionated Yarns. I knew she would have the perfect electric blue. And of course, this detail of the neon yellow. And the most fun about this sweater is putting together this lovely heart, which I did with various rovings and sheep bits that were hand dyed and I love this sweater. Number two is Pangolin by Pickles and this sweater is made with Sadness Garn yarn and I just love each of these triangular motifs. I know it probably seems like a million triangles to knit but it is so satisfying. It comes together in such an easy way. It's like entrelac only so much better and I love the idea of putting my own spin of colors into a work and that's why I love this sweater. Number one is this creation which is using a pattern. It's the Sassy Slipover by Knit Lig, but the concept of it is really from Lang or Long Yarns, L-A-N-G. Why I chose this as my number one sweater, it's a cap sleeve sweater or you could consider it a vest or a slipover. Why I love it is the artistic expression that I was able to have using the various textures of mohair, surrey alpaca, and even paper yarn in my collection here on the front. I loved this process, I love the creativity of it, and I love wearing it, and this is why it's my number one sweater. Thank you so much for joining me for my top 10 sweaters. Be on the lookout for more videos like this here on my YouTube channel. You can like and subscribe. And please check me out over at patreon.com slash christyglassknits for tutorials, live videos, Zoom knit nights, finished object videos, interviews, trips, vlogging. All the things are there on Patreon and I'd love to see you there. Have a great one. Bye.